Hi, morning. I'm Rishi from the School of Continuous Improvement. Uh, today we are going to be doing a tool which is called as uh, warranty analysis. You can use this tool in order to analyze your warranty data and also predict possible future failures with your with your product that you have sold to your customers. I've got a sample data here. Year delivered, that's 2013 to 2016. These are the individual number of products for every year, which is 1,000, 1,500, 2,300, 2,500. And these are the failed products. So you can see here that the lot which was delivered in 2013, um, which was 1,000, five units failed in 2013 itself, six failed in 2014, 10 in 2015, and three in 2016. We've got about eight uh, failed for out of 1,500 delivered in 2014. 13 failed in 2015 and 4 failed in 2016. Right, so that's the way how the data is structured. Uh, so I'm going to click on Start, Reliability Survival, Warranty Analysis and Pre-Process Warranty Data. Right, so when I click on Pre-Process Warranty Data, this is the way how the window will look like. Under the Shipment Sale column, I will select Quantity Delivered and in the Return Failure columns, I'm going to select all of these and enter that into this text box and I click on OK. When I do that, a mini tab automatically updates three more columns which is start time, end time and frequencies. Uh, this may not make a lot of sense to you at this point of time, um, but it will when we use the next tool again which is here in mini tab which is the warranty prediction tool. So in order to do warranty prediction, I click on start, reliability analysis, warranty analysis and warranty prediction. Now here, I'm going to select the start time, I'm going to select the end time and I will select the frequencies. Right? I go on to prediction. I want to predict the failures for the next four years with a production quantity for of approximately 1500 for every year. So at a production quantity of 1,500 every year, I want to predict the failure rates uh, for the following four years. So I'm going to click on OK and click OK. When I do that, I get a Y bull 95% confidence interval graph like this. Again, maybe that graph may not make a may not make a lot of sense to you here. But let's let's try to read. Uh, let's try to make sense out of this table that we have got here. Very good. So at this point of time, we have 7,300 units, and 88 units have already failed. Uh, the, this was observed, and it was expected using the Poisson uh, calculation. Um, it was expected that approximately 87 units would have failed. Uh, right now, 88 units have um, have failed. Uh, there could be a total of about 7,212, which is a direct subtraction of 7,388. Now, out of these 7,212 units, uh, you know, these are the units that could be at risk of failing in the forthcoming periods. Right. Now, you see the tot table of predicted number of fail failures. So, the first year, we are expecting about 32 to 60 units to fail. Uh, in the second year, uh, you are expecting about 76 to 115 units to fail. Uh, in the third year, you are expecting about 126 to 175 uh, or 176 units to fail. And in the fourth year, you are expecting about 183 to about 241 or 242 units to fail. So basically, what you are trying to say here is, um, if we go with the present calculation and assuming a viable distribution, uh, we expect that by the end of year 4 from now, um, we could have about 184 to about 242 units that could probably fail uh, in, in the next 4 years to, to come. And that you can say with 95% confidence. So that's the way how you do warranty analysis and warranty prediction using the warranty analysis tool in Minitab. Uh, this is of course one such tool and there, there, there are many other tools which we will be discussing in the further sessions. If you have any more questions to me, you can write into me at vishi at the rate school of That's it for me for this time. Have a nice day. Bye-bye.